Charlotte Source for New Hip Hop and R&B. Your live with Ace on your afternoon drive home. Hey, if you guys have been watching the hit show on BET called Sisters, then you guys know who Novi Brown is. She plays the character Sabrina. How are you? I'm amazing. And if that, y'all haven't watched the show, you know, no shade, but where have you been? Where have you been? We're in the sixth season. Yeah, th- this is this is something that you want to binge watch. Like, th- this is something yes. that you have to go back to season one to catch up. Absolutely. It's going to be one of those that have you in a chokehold where your favorite guilty pleasure, your favorite melodrama. So what's it like being on a Tyler Perry set? It's life-changing, life-shaking. It's a, a huge trust process because a lot of people don't really know how we film. Uh, we film 22 episodes in 10 days. That leaves us with around 90 to 120 pages per day, meaning that we only do everything in one take. Um, we don't. It's almost like a theater style shooting schedule, and so um, it's a very rigorous work. It's it's very like you just have to trust yourself, and the magic that's created on that set is undeniable. It's really just God through and through. Can you talk about trusting the process, staying uh, staying steadfast at what you want? Because I know stuff like this don't come easy. Ooh, yes, exactly. It doesn't come easy. It comes with a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Is Like, we cry. We go through it, right? It's not all picture perfect and beautiful. It's not. There's a lot of, we make a lot of mistakes, but within those mistakes, we really find our strength. We find the things that we're really great at. And it's a group group dynamic from cast to crew, pre-production, post-production, marketing, every single person involved. It's a huge project. So trusting the process is the only thing you can do. and, And I feel like this is one of those rare productions and rare jobs where it does move at this speed and you don't have anything but trust you know what i'm saying and so i'm really grateful that i get to develop that as an artist did you see this going to six seasons or no (laughs) not six like i knew it was gonna be a hit you know because it's tyler and everything he does is a hit but i think it was the mashup of it being his show it being on bet and then it being a show about black women and it being a sex sex in the city and then the pandemic came so it was the perfect storm, you know, and people got to grow up with us while we were in a pandemic together as a world. So uh, what, what what does the musical playlist look like for Novi when she's on the set? Like, who are you, <laughs> who are you listening to? That kind of thing. Kate Trinata all day, period. Kate Trinata will get you hyped. Um, a big Sean, big Sean will get me like if I really got to act brand new, okay, and I really got to G up. I'm gonna listen to some big Sean, and then if I take it back, Chaka Khan, Chaka Khan ain't nobody. You know, it's just music that makes me feel good and it makes me feel solid. How do you separate life from your character on Sisters? How do you do that? Oh, it's super easy. I mean, now it's easy. You know, at first you get very protective over your character. You get protected over the choices they make, right, and the person they choose to love, and all these other things. Um, But eventually, I just realized that, oh, these are real life people. I have people coming up to me and saying, I'm the Sabrina of the group. That is me. You're telling my story. So just to see people see themselves in the character is really the joy of it all. And you really are a conduit. At the end of the day, um, Ben Padgley, he's a fellow actor. He said that we're social commentators, you know. And when I heard that, I said, that makes a lot of sense. We are just commentating on what the state looks like today and we're, what we're experiencing today, you know? And a lot of people learn what to do from the show and they also learn what not to do. So that's how it's easy for me to separate. So does Sabrina find love this time and settle down or is she still filling up the <laughs> roster? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> I mean, I feel it pretty happy for Sabrina either way, whether she chooses to be single or be in love, as long as she's choosing to be authentic. Um, but there's definitely... You know, there's there's some interest around. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna leave that there because it sounds like you want to hide, so so I'm gonna leave that with there. <laughs> so uh, I was watching your Instagram live the other day, and it seems like you are big on horoscopes. Um, yes. <laughs> tell me about your uh, zodiac sign and all that good stuff. The strength and weaknesses. Oh yes, I'm a Scorpio. Um, strengths are concentration, focus. Weaknesses, not letting things go when it's dead and gone. <laughs> That's the big weakness. Trying to control everything, every outcome. 
And it's just, it's really about energy signatures. At the end of the day, you vibe with certain people and certain people you don't, right? Um, and that's really what, what I teach is why do you vibe with a person and why don't you? Or even the energies within yourself. And it's just more of a, an acceptance that people are exactly who they're supposed to be. And that's why I love astrology. So I'm a Virgo. So does a Virgo and a Scorpio mix or no? Yes, we can. We absolutely can because you're an earth sign and I'm a water sign. So that makes mud, it makes mud. You know, I remember Captain Planet back in the day, earth, wind, fire, you know, all that good stuff. Like it all makes sense. So um, as a Virgo, you're very thorough. And as a Scorpio, I'm very thorough as well. So imagine we had a research project together. We would be amazing partners at that. We probably can do well in business relationships as well because you're going to look for the mistakes and I'm going to look for the ways to change those mistakes. So we're going to help each other out, you know? Um, yeah, it can work. See, Tyler, <laughs> you hear that? She just said me and her the perfect match. Let's go. Let's make this thing happen, man. <laughs> Let's make it happen. <laughs> I love your energy on the show, but I love your energy as a person. Can you drop some free game for all the expiring actors and actresses that may be in that, that, that creative rut right now? Make sure you're going out and experiencing life. A good artist is living. They're not just creating. You can't create if you haven't actually gone through something. So don't be scared to fall in love. Don't be scared to get your heart broken. Don't be scared to make a mistake. Don't be scared to embarrass yourself. Um, that's what we're supposed to do as artists. We kind of take all the L's and the W's. But remember, all the L's are just lessons, baby. I love that. I love that. Miss Novi Brown, thank you for checking in on the show. Thank you so much for yes. having me. And I'll be talking to you soon. Yes, ma'am. You enjoy the rest of your day. You too.